Time now for instant wisdom. Jonathan Haidt is an American social psychologist, professor of ethical leadership at New York University. He specializes in the psychology of morality. He's been named one of the top global thinkers by Foreign Policy Magazine, one of the top world thinkers by Prospect Magazine. He's the author of the New York Times bestseller, The Righteous Mind, Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion. He's a leading advocate for free free speech on university campuses and open inquiry, and has brought together other academics to join him in the pushback. In this clip from a recent interview, Professor Haidt is addressing our innate tribalism and why the politics of division that emphasizes differences from gender, ethnicity, white privilege is so counterproductive and instead recommends taking a lesson from Dr. Martin Luther King. Here's a clip. So uh, how is it that people form themselves into tribes? Um, Well, there's lots of interesting research shown that we'll do it at the drop of a hat. So there's a classic study um, by uh, Henri Tajfel. People come into the lab um, and they look at a piece of paper and there's dots on it. And he says, how many dots do you think there are? And if you say 800, I don't know. And just randomly he would then say, oh, well, you overestimated, so you go over there. You underestimate, you go over there. Um, Just dividing people up by that. Now you have them divide up various rewards or make judgments about each other. That's enough. Anything that puts us here and you there, that's enough. Because our tribal minds are built to pick up anything that matters, and then we like our group. Now, we like our group more than we hate the other group. But, and this is incredibly important, I think, for what's going on with our issues of diversity and inclusion. The more we ramp up consciousness of groups, the worse off we are. And again, Martin Luther King had it right. You read what he was doing. He's always reaching for the inclusive language. He's always speaking about about Americans or humanity. He's using religious language, patriotic language. You've got to focus on what we have in common. So there's at least a a, a bit of of sunlight. If we could, okay. one of your recommendations would be to focus on what brings us together yeah. rather than focus on focus on what makes us separate tribes. That's right. That's okay. right. Absolutely. And so be on the lookout for this. I'm hearing from more and more parents of high school kids that kids are being, you know, kid, you know young kids have no consciousness of, of race and groups like that. Um, but more and more, they're being encouraged to think that way, even in elementary school. So parents, if you have, especially if you have kids in private school, look at what the kids are learning. It's quite possible that they are being trained to think more and more about divisions, that their tribal minds are being hyperactivated. It's incredible because that's exactly what's happening within our school systems. That is exactly what's happening in our school system with the sponsorship of progressive left government, including the federal liberals, who this week launch another kind of attack in this way, saying uh, we're going to have, you know, system, look at system, uh, systemic racism. But look at, think of all the times you're hearing about the pushback. We talked a little bit about white privilege last week, how it's actually in the curriculum in Ontario. All Professor Height is warning us about is we have an innate tribalism that we easily gravitate to differences. And instead, he recommends taking the lead from Dr. Martin Luther King, who always was inclusive. This is what's such a farce about what's happening today, but very, very dangerous. We are divided in the West, divided in the States, divided in Canada, more so in the States, but we're working toward it, which is what's so incredible in Canada actually working to war a more divisive society for all their talk about inclusiveness their approach their guilt-laden approach actually encourages more divisions within society as i say mind-blowing but i thought that clip was fascinating and again i would really recommend go to youtube jonathan h-a-i-d-t jonathan hate as i say considered one of the top global thinkers on this kind of thing on free speech, on this, worth listening to. Always good to get a little wisdom from those who spend their professional lives thinking about things, and he is one of the best.